Today, I decided to check out the top 5 realms for the Minecraft Bedrock Edition. There was a ton of different realms that just released and I knew I had to swiftly hop on. I looked at MC Realm Hub and there was over 42 different realms now. Super shocking stuff. Prison, Skyblock, Pixelmon, and even factions. All different types of game modes you can find in realms. Watch the videos to the very end to get all the realm codes. YouTube, welcome back to yet again another video and today I'm gonna to be going over the top five Minecraft Bedrock Edition realms. I'm super excited because there's different game modes such as factions, skyblock, prisons, get PvP, anything that you're looking for, you name it, we got it. On mcrealmhub.com of course. MC Realm Hub is your number one place where you can find the best Minecraft Bedrock Edition realms. As you can see, there's even a drop down menu where you can go to Pixelmon Realms and there's five realms for you. Or let's say you want to go to this category right here, which is going to be prisons, and there's a bunch of different prison realms. But anyways, let's go to jump into the number five spots. Coming in at number 5, we have Honeycomb Factions. This is a recent addition to MC Realm Hub. And if you guys didn't know, you can easily just submit your realm or just tell me to go ahead and do it. I'll go ahead and help you guys out because I really like to go ahead and add new realms so people can easily join them. But Honeycomb Factions is a pretty interesting experience. As you can see, it has a bee-based theme, has a bunch of honey all over the place. It's a very nice job on the theme. They also recently had a Halloween update. I believe this is going to be the brand new update right here, and this will bring you back to spawn. There's actually a wild warp, so if you go up here, you'll be brought to the wild if you just continue over there. So right now, we're in the shop, and it's actually a really nice design. The only downfall is that spawn. It actually starts lagging, so I'm not 100% sure what causes it. It could be on my side, but overall, a very nice server. Let's go to jump into the number four spots. Coming in at number 4, we actually have Pixelcraft, and I'm pretty sure you guys seen me showcase them before. I believe they keep getting updates as well, and it's basically a mini game realm. I can't believe they actually have a mini game realm because there's actually a lot of servers that have just mini games. Think about the Hive, Lifeboat, even Galactite. These are all mini game servers, but I guess mini game realms are a thing still. So let's go ahead and check it out. So heading over to here, we're going to find something pretty interesting if you keep walking over here we'll be finding some mini games so if we click on this guy we can easily teleport and they have updated the dialogue to look like this which is kind of like my pokemon add-on so if we click on build that will bring us to plots and i believe if we click on games it'll bring up another menu and we can click on a bunch of different games so let's go over to here. This is going to bring us to a mini game, and there's a bunch of different things like this. So I strongly recommend checking out this realm. Ton of different mini games that you guys can easily check out. But let's go ahead and jump into the number three spots. Coming in at number three, we have Dynasty Factions. So when you spawn in, you can grab your starter kit, you can get all your armor, tools, etc. And then you can even read this book to know exactly what to do on this server. Right over here is the Ender Chest where you're going to be able to simply put all your items from raids. Or let's say you don't want someone taking your stuff, then you can put it in there. Using this nifty GUI, you can warp around. If we warp to the shop, we'll be able to go ahead and see inside of this chest that you'll be able to buy things, which is pretty interesting. Over here, you can buy any kit that you want. Over here, you'll be able to buy extra, so things that aren't really in categories. Shields, fireworks, boats, you name it. That's what's going to be in extras. Coming over to here, we can simply buy spawners for raids, and we can basically make farms. There's a bunch of different things, and in general, it's a really nice shop. Right over here is going to be the crates, so simply open it, I believe, and then you'll be able to get your loot. It's actually pretty cool because they have a rare crate. Over here is going to be the legendary crate. They actually have an epic crate over here, and last but not least, they do have the cash crate, which I'm pretty sure you can get money from that one if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the number two spots. Coming in at number 2, we have XVG Pixelmon. This is by far one of my favorite realms out here. What do you want? Yo, I'm not coming back. Yo, what the heck? Okay, so we're just going to ignore Nurse Joy, but there's going to be a big update to this realm pretty soon. There's going to be a brand new Project Pixelmon update with 21 new Pokemon. Yes, you heard it here. 21 new Pokemon. I'm going to probably make this video. I don't know when this is going to be dropping, but this is definitely going to be very 
very interesting because there's going to be a lot of brand new Pokemon and this realm is going to get a lot better. There's also going to be a brand new RPG that's going to release and we're going to have gym leaders in a ton of different things. But XVG Pixelmon is basically your average Pixelmon experience. I'm pretty sure you know what to expect. As you can see, there's going to be a bunch of different trainers everywhere. There's Pokemon that you can go ahead and catch. I believe, let's check if the Pokeballs are still messed up. And yep, as you can see, they're actually shooting from the head. I don't know why that's like that. That's like super strange. Let's try to go ahead and catch a Pokemon real quick. So right over here, we have a Shinx. So let's see if we can catch it. And as you can see, we tried aiming for it, but it just basically went way over its head. I don't know what's going on with the brand new animations and just everything that happened with the brand new update, but I'm pretty sure they broke some stuff. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump into the number one spots. Coming in at number one, we have Outcast Prisons. This is actually a good realm. As you guys can see right here is the money trading room. I actually got that wrong one time. I thought that was a kit opening room. But let's go over to here. We have a ton of different features. If you click on this guy, I believe he... Yeah, who is this guy? So apparently we don't own a cell, so we can't go anywhere. So I'm going to head over to here and we could talk to this guy over here and he's going to let us go to a mine. So let's check it out. This is going to be the PVP mine. So if we drop down, we can easily get good loot, but someone's going to try to kill us and they can easily get money off of us. In order to get out of here, it's actually very simple. All you need to go to do is head over to the other side and go up to there. As you can see, people have been mining in this, so it's a pretty active realm. They even make it harder to get up to the top with the spider webs, which is actually pretty good, especially if other people are trying to kill you. But getting back to spawn is pretty easy. Just step on here and you'll be teleported back. I believe over there is going to be King of the Hill, but I'm not 100% sure. They also have this pretty interesting GUI where you can warp around. So if you want to get your starter kit, it's actually pretty simple. Head over to here and you can grab everything that you need and you can read this book to go ahead and get the basics of the server. Right over here, you can find the shop. There's a bunch of different things that you can easily buy. And as you can see, I can get anything if I just take it out. But unfortunately, I just still have a lot of money. But anyways, that's going to pretty much wrap today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time for the next video on Shift Replays. Bye.